Hey guys and welcome back to the monthly free assets for September 2021. So again we've got 5 amazing free assets for this month only and I'm going to be going over those in today's video. So this month we've got the level design toolkit, the close combat anim set, a procedural spline wall system, the old brick house and the alchemist house. So without further ado let's get right into it. So we're going to start off with the procedural spline wall system. And this is a system which allows you to easily create walls in any shape and have them snap automatically to the landscape as well. It includes many different looks and appearance settings and allows you to easily use custom materials and meshes as well. So if you have a very big perimeter wall which you want to set up, it would be very tedious to place down each individual mesh. So instead using splines is a much more efficient way of doing it and so this system has it all already set up for you. It includes 16 pre-made looks that include bricks, stones, sci-fi and many more. Materials are customizable with age, moss, tint and paint colors and much more. You can easily use any of your own materials with the system as well. You can easily use any custom mesh for the walls or the pillars and vertex paint age and moss for more variation. It has one master blueprint with many different settings to customize the walls to fit your project. There's 55 master materials and instances, 232 textures and 20 meshes. The texture sizes are 2K and there are no LODs included in this, but it does have collision on it as well though. So again, I think this is a great one, very efficient if you're building, let's say a large area, for example, again, perimeter wall or house wall or anything along those lines where you're gonna need splines, because again, these are very efficient. So great system, definitely recommend getting this one. And so next up, we've got the level design toolkit. And this allows you to quickly select a mass amount of actors with a click of a single button, saving you an immense amount of time during development, as well as much, much more. So the main purpose of the level design toolkit is just essentially speed up your level design workflow, and that would then also increase your efficiency and overall quality of it as well. So instead of having to individually click on all the different actors you want to select, you can simply put a box or a sphere around a zone, and with a click of a button, select everything within that zone. You can also hide or unhide the static meshes or actors, have the ability to select static meshes or actors by tag or name, and even use construction blueprints to place meshes along a spline path or attach multiple actors to a dummy actor and much more. So this one has many, many different details and features into it, again, all speeding up the process of your development. So you can select thousands of actors and static meshes at once. There's a pivot changer tool, LODs, UVs, and collision generators, hide and unhide lots of different actors and elements, Search by using a tag or the name, they've got blueprint interaction systems, spline based mesh places, alignment tools, line of sight tools, calculated distance and so much more which I'm not going to say all because again there's a lot so I definitely recommend reading their store page and even watching their overview video which is on the screen now I'm using their video. So again make sure to watch this and read it all because this is definitely going to be a massive help to you to speed up the overall process of creating your games leaving you then more time to advance upon other areas. And now we've got the old brick house, and this is a fully furnished vintage house model. So the doors and front gate are also interactive, i.e. you can open and close them all. There's more than 250 vintage props, such as furniture and appliances in every room that could be conveniently reused in any setting. And the house mesh is split into parts, but it is a non-modular fixed layout. And the texture sizes range from all the way down from 128 by 128 to 4K and it does all have collision, there are LODs, and there's 418 meshes with 14 mass materials and 121 material instances. There's 273 textures and this is built for desktop PC. And again, an important notice is the house itself is split into sub meshes which you can then use anywhere you want in any way you want, but it is not designed to be a modular building, meaning you can't really just use the walls to make your own sort of house, it is specifically made for this house model. And also, most of the materials can also be customized as well. So again, I think this one looks absolutely great. It's a very nice setting of a house. If you maybe want to make a game set in this house, I think a horror game would probably work quite well, or really any sort of game. It does all look very great. And moving on to the next one, we've got the close combat animation set. And so in this anim set, we've got 10 different attacks, 11 different evades, four being directional and seven being responsive to body parts. We've got three blocks being start, loop and hit. We've got 9 hit reactions, 2 being knockdowns, 1 being a hit from behind, and 6 being responsive to body parts. And we've got 13 different locomotion animations as well, i.e. idle, walk, run, jog, jump, and strafe. And this is rigged and animated to the epic skeleton as well, with 46 in-place animations and 46 root motion animations, so you get both in-place and root motion as well, 
depending on how you have animated your character. And this has been designed to work on both mobile and PC very well, that is what it has been optimised for. So once again, these all look absolutely amazing in this anim set, really good if this is the kind of game you want to be going for, i.e. close quarters combat, they do all look great, again there's loads of different animations for attacking, dodging, being hit, all the stuff which you'd want to use to set up a melee combat system. And finally, last but not least, we've got the Alchemist House. And this is a set of low poly 3D objects that will allow you to create an interior location for your game and it can be used for a top down as well as first person view. They've said that this is going to work well in both of those settings. It contains more than 100 hand painted assets like modular walls, floors, ceilings, pillars, stairs, windows, wide range of furniture and many kind of props as well i.e. books, scrolls, candles, anything which you'd expect to find in an old medieval alchemist's house they have in here. The texture sizes are all 1K and there is collision on these as well, with 168 meshes, 82 materials and 150 textures. So this is a really nice kind of stylized low poly alchemist house for again any sort of medieval game you want. And once again they've mentioned that this one is modular so you can use all these different parts to build your own medieval house if you wanted to. So you can use the house which they've made or you can make your own using the same assets i.e. the walls windows, floors and all that good stuff. Once again if you were going to be making a medieval game, especially in a low poly style, this is definitely one which you should get, even if it is just for the props because they do look amazing as well. So that will be it for this video on going over the September 2021 free monthly assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found this video of me going over them helpful as well. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite is for this month. I think mine is probably the procedural walls because that system is done very well. There's lots of different ways of doing it and there's lots of different systems for it as well, but that one is probably the best one I've seen so far. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite was, and I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.